Hi Pisces, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of September 6th through the 12th, 2021. This is a reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If you are a cross watcher, you might be able to resonate with some of these messages. So guys, I would like to say welcome to all of you. Thank you so much for joining me here today. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. Also, if you could please give this video a thumbs up, I would greatly appreciate that. I am doing a giveaway, guys. If you haven't checked out your monthly forecast, your September monthly forecast, go check that out because uh, I do mention in that reading how you can go about entering for the giveaway. I'm giving away the Halloween Tarot uh, in the month of September. So if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. I plan on doing multiple giveaways here in the near future. Okay. So you have Death. You do also have the Queen of Swords. What does the sign of Pisces? There is the Lovers. Okay. What does the sign of Pisces have coming up for this week, please, Pisces? And also, guys, all the decks I am using, they are listed below along with the links for purchasing them if you are interested. We have the Seven of Cups in the reverse. We have the Page of Swords, Queen of Cups, the Chariot. So you could be dealing... Um, with a couple of characters for some of you. Let's see. Pisces. Okay, so now we just need an overall energy for Pisces okay and I just want to look at this one it's like a bonus card okay two of wands but the overall energy is the three of cups we do have wow queen of coins at the bottom of the deck let's see I'm gonna put this here so you have a lot of characters um some of you are definitely dealing with, I'm getting very strong Gemini, but could be an ear sign. So it could be an Aquarius, could be a Libra. Uh, I'm also seeing very, very strong Cancer here. So you could be dealing with a Cancer. And then we have this uh, Queen of Coins here at the bottom of the deck. So it could be an Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. Could be a Libra that's significant. Uh, we have the Queen of Coins. We have Justice. We have the Three of Wands. Wow, look at this. So the bonus card is this Two of Wands. We have the Three of Wands. Okay, here is uh, the Emperor. Underneath the Emperor, we have the Ten of Swords. So it could be an Aries who's significant. But... Um, I see change coming in. Change is on the horizon, um, but I'm definitely reading for some Pisces where um, something is, is turning around. Things are about to look up. And so if there was some sort of loss, a financial loss, maybe a loss of a job, or they could have... Um, cut your hours at work or something like that there was maybe a loss of you feeling financially secure some of you could have maybe uh, or maybe you're going through the process you could have separated from someone maybe getting a divorce or if you were living with someone they could have moved out we have the ten of swords here there's the sun yeah you're releasing this if you felt betrayed uh, or if just something ended something is done 
something is no longer in your life, Pisces. This is you. I think many of you that I'm reading for, you're maybe um, moving down a new career path or if you own a business, I think that you're, you're growing your business. You're taking things in like a whole other direction. And so this is big. I, I see you making some big moves. I see you stepping into your power. I'm definitely seeing that. And if you've been working hard, Pisces, trying to restore that balance because maybe there's been, you know, some sort of loss in the past. I see you overcoming difficulties, obstacles, even betrayal. You know, people doing you wrong in the past, though. I think it's behind you. It's already happened. And it's kind of like you're, I want to say turning the page, but really it's kind of like starting a whole new chapter because I feel like you're kind of steering things in a certain direction. And so in particular, those of you, this could be, this could be within your career, but if you're a business owner, this could be with your business. Uh, again, there could have been a loss in the past, oftentimes with death. And that was uh, the very first card that you had out. Pisces, often with death, you know, it's just creating that space. So something has died, something has left your life, but something else will come in and replace it. And I think that that's where you're at right now is you're, you're seeing growth. Things are, are really transforming and progressing. You've already gone through the pain and the heartache, the betrayal for some of you the loss and now it's it's time to celebrate and some of you are celebrating because because you're seeing progress you're seeing growth uh with multiple threes also you could be seeing something or someone clearly there could have been um maybe some confusion seven of cups illusion delusion confusion but it's in the reverse. So this is you seeing things clearly. Truth, clarity, if something was confusing, if someone was trying to feed you a bunch of, let's say BS, that's you uh, cutting right through that. Seeing through, you know, someone's, could be lies, could be BS. This is you seeing clearly. Now you could be cutting someone off with the Queen of Swords, I mean, we seen what was at the bottom of the deck. So for those of you who feel betrayed or you were betrayed by a particular person, could be that Emperor we seen at the bottom of the deck. I mean, they've hurt you and this could be you turning your back on them, maybe opening a new door or just simply stepping into your, your power here at this time and maybe you're going out. I mean, some of you are single. You could be celebrating the fact that you're single. For others, there could be a reunion. Uh, again, very strong Gemini and very strong Cancer coming through uh, here in this reading. Could be going out. You could be celebrating. This is a a very social energy and you have lots of feminine energy here you also could be dealing with a Scorpio could be reuniting with a Scorpio I see travel I see things being delayed but I feel like that's that's prior I think that um, you've already dealt with some delays I think that um, Maybe, maybe some of you Pisces, you could have put something off. Uh, it might have been in regards to making a decision. It could be in regards to a relationship or not. It could be business as well. It could be working with a particular person. We have the two of wands here. Some sort of partnership, uh, maybe as far as you 
working with someone or answering someone, you may have um, put it off. Maybe you need more information, but we see you uh, seeing things clearly. And this is in regards to the past. Six of Cups. So if, if when you're watching this, if you're still feeling a little confused about a particular matter, that clarity is going to come in. I see communication. Yeah. And most likely that is going to be with a female. So you may be the Pisces female. We have the Queen of Cups here. You could be communicating with an air sign, possibly an earth sign. Just be careful. Um, I don't like when I have um, these two cards come up together. But we do have the Seven of Cups in the reverse. Just be careful um, for gossip. That's not going to resonate with all of you with these general readings. Just take, you know, what resonates and leave the rest. But there could be gossip floating around or something like that. You may hear something this week. You want to do some fact checking. It might not be the truth. But um, some of you, you may, you may hear something and then you may actually maybe do some investigating and you may realize that. Um, you may find out that someone was gossiping or maybe, maybe they lied to you. Others, you know, you may have had an idea about somebody and um, you may actually see this person in a different light or you may maybe have some um, realizations in regards to the past, something with the past matter. But I see you, Pisces, uh, I see you actually stepping into your power here. This is actually really good. And if you're a business owner, yeah, if you're a business owner and you've been working hard, I think there's um, some karmic rewards coming your way. I see growth in... Um, what you're moving towards Pisces is feeling more financially secure. And then also some of you, you could be making new friends, definitely. And this could be people you work with, but does not have to be. Others, you may maybe make a new friend or new friends. This could even be online. Could be reuniting with someone here this week. This person may be at a distance. For some of you, there could be um, a legal decision that's coming in, but maybe you've had to wait for this. I believe I got uh, that same message for you guys with the monthly. So if you do have something legal that's ongoing, I see a win. I'm pretty sure I got that message for you guys with the monthly. We have the chariot, which is card of victory. Six of cups. This is like a past closure. That's really what I'm getting. This is a win. This is this is a victory, but I mean it did not come easily. Now, for those of you we are looking for love, I think you do have love coming in. You may date women. Doesn't matter if you're male or female. Uh, for some of you, you might meet a woman here this week could start out as friends or even like a business partner could turn to something more for some of you. Uh, I do see love coming in and for some of you, this is a soulmate. And um, this person, either you, this person, or maybe both of you, 
somebody is guarded and it could be you because you are going through this change now maybe this person is going to be your friend maybe they're going to help you but i feel like you're at the end of this but still you know this person may help you maybe it's going to start out as friends this person may be at a distance uh, you may meet this person online, but for some of you, not all of you, you would know uh, if I'm talking to you, but this is a soulmate connection. We have uh, the lovers and we have the six of cups. And maybe, maybe you didn't realize it, but now you do. That's not for all of you, but those of you... We are, you know, you have some stuff going on on the love front. Could have just ended a relationship. Um, and, and now, you, you know, you have a new opportunity here. But I think it's going to take some time. Uh, don't be in a rush. It's definitely uh, going to take some time. I don't see this as um, being, you know, something super quick here. One of you is guarded. One of you is, is guarded, and it, it could be you, Pisces. It really could be you. For those of you where you have something with child support, that could be the legal matter. I see a win. I see things going well. There's good news coming in. Some of you may want to celebrate here this week. It's actually really positive, but I really feel like it's after... Pisces, I feel like it's after some loss, some loss. Um, some of you could have even had bad news recently. Um, things have been delayed. For some of you, this is tax money coming in. Maybe it was delayed. You know, I can read this a, a bunch of different ways, but you've been waiting on this. And now it's like finally... We can celebrate, we can go out, we can relax, we can have fun, right? We do have a new moon here. We have the Virgo new moon right at the start of the week. So set those intentions. All right, let's pull you some additional guidance cards for Pisces, please. Pisces. Additional guidance for Pisces, please, for this week. Okay, I'm also using this deck. And again, all the decks I am using, they are listed below. Pisces. A personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon in Cancer. That Cancerian energy is is very strong. So some of you may be working with a Cancer, dealing with a Cancer. We have very, very strong Cancer energy here. Something could be actually coming to a close with a Cancer for some of you. But again... Um, a personal issue reaches resolution and so I mean that could be tax money coming in that could be a legal matter that's finally um, done with uh, this is something you've been waiting on Pisces okay guardians of the land protection interesting and this is number 21 which does equal a three, and threes do talk about teamwork. And so that's actually going to be helpful uh, for many of you right now, working with others, uh, cooperating with others, um, you know, being part of the group. 
You may actually make some new friends here at this time, which is really good. But this is spiritual protection. If you were worried about maybe a, a property, a piece of land or something like that, Pisces, this is letting you know that it's, it's protected. Uh, protect yourself. But this is... Um, spiritual protection as well and maybe you even have some friends some new friends or old friends people around you that um, are more protective of you Pisces for some of you um, it's very it's it's a very nice reading really and teamwork is definitely what's needed at this time all right guys so i hope that you found this reading helpful if you did please give this video a thumbs up make sure that you are subscribed all right guys have a great week